if you slice a watermelon crosswise and look closely at the cross section, a distinctive pattern emerges. What is this pattern? Today, we'll be dissecting a watermelon, responding to numerous requests in the comments. Hello. We promptly headed to the supermarket and purchased a watermelon. Tada! Firstly, what botanical category does a watermelon fall under? The watermelon grows on vines on the ground and belongs to the cucurbitaceous family. Similar to cucumbers, pumpkins, and melons. Therefore, watermelons generally grow on the ground like this. But from which part of its slender vine do these sizable watermelons emerge? Watermelons, like many fruits, originate from the transformation of a flower component into a fruit. To grasp the genesis of a watermelon, understanding its flowers is essential. Interestingly, a watermelon plant bears both male and female flowers on the same plant. The distinction between the two can be discerned not only by the pistil and stamens configuration, but also by looking behind the flower. The female flower showcases a rounded base as depicted here. You know which flower part turns into the watermelon, right? The female watermelon flower comes in the form of a lower cotyledon in position beneath the cluster. Through the diligent work of bees, pollen from the male flower is transferred to the female. Upon successful pollination, this lower cotyledon enlarges, becoming a watermelon. The stem connects the watermelon to its vine. Interestingly, this section often called the watermelon's navel, is a relic from the detachment of the flower segment atop the cotyledon. There's talk on the internet suggesting the existence of male and female watermelons, and that it is a criterion for selecting a premium watermelon. However, this notion is entirely unfounded. In reality, only female flowers develop into watermelons, and the fruit itself lacks any gender distinction. Now, let's delve into the watermelon's interior. A sturdy rind enveloping the watermelon is a hallmark feature of the cucurbit family. A tip often shared is that scoring the watermelon's surface with a knife before slicing ensures a neat cut without affecting the fruit's integrity. However, exercise caution with overripe watermelons, as they can split open with just a gentle tap, as demonstrated here. Start by cutting the watermelon lengthwise. Slice it neatly from the stem down to the navel. Unveiling the vibrant red pulp inside. We often find seeds nestled within the red flesh of watermelons, don't we? In nature, plants employ diverse tactics to disperse their seeds. The watermelon, for instance, produces a delectable pulp that animals consume, inadvertently aiding in seed dispersal when they excrete the seeds over a broader area. While watermelon seeds can appear either black or white or yellowish, the latter are typically underdeveloped. Upon closer inspection, you'll notice that, while the interior of a black seed is packed full, but the white seed variant is hollow. Explaining why white seed fail to germinate when sown? Within the section of the watermelon tethered to its navel, you might observe a pale, yellowish core, termed the vascular bundle. This structure functions as a conduit, facilitating the passage of water and nutrients throughout the watermelon. Typically, as the watermelon matures, this bundle reddens and disappears. But occasionally, remnants remain, as evidenced here. It's commonly believed that watermelons retaining numerous vascular bundles tend to be firmer in texture and possess a less desirable taste. When you slice a watermelon crosswise, a peculiar pattern emerges on its cross section. Do you see it? Embedded within the watermelon's lateral cross section is a spiral-like design. This intricate pattern originates from the embryo within the female flower cluster, specifically where the hypocotyl once attached and where the fruit seeds develop. Interestingly, this distinctive embryo shape isn't exclusive to watermelons. Most cucurbits exhibit a comparable embryonic structure, making this pattern discernible in melons and cucumbers alike. There was a time when there was misinformation about the placental patterns, suggesting they indicated the presence of watermelon mosaic disease. However, such patterns can manifest in perfectly healthy watermelons. In certain watermelon scenarios, if the male flowers lack sufficient pollen or moisture, it can result in a void in the vomeronosal region, giving rise to this characteristic shape. Thankfully, 
this occurrence remains relatively rare in commercially cultivated watermelons, alleviating concerns for the average consumer. Indeed, placing black watermelon seeds on a damp cloth can lead to their germination, often sprouting within three to four days. Witnessing this growth is truly captivating, isn't it? Additionally, it can be a delightful experiment to cultivate a watermelon using the seeds left over from consumption. This concludes our watermelon dissection journey. On a recent trip to the supermarket for watermelons, I stumbled upon some intriguing foreign snacks that piqued my curiosity, prompting me to purchase. Curious about the taste? Well, the watermelon chocolate pie didn't quite hit the mark. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe.